Okay, we're gonna do some football physics. In this problem, a kicker kicks the ball so that it leaves the ground with a velocity v naught, and this is 50 degrees above horizontal. The ball follows the path, and 3.24 seconds later hits the crossbar of the goal post, which is 10 feet above the ground. We're gonna neglect air resistance. And in the second part of the problem, we're going to find the horizontal distance in feet that the ball was from the goalpost when it was kicked. Okay, these are the values that we know. We have the theta, 50 degrees, time 3.24, x naught and y naught will be 0, our y will, final y will be 10 feet, and gravity negative 9.8 meters per second square. All right, let's get started. Okay, this is a kinematics problem and we're gonna use these formulas. And right now we're gonna use the one that I have marked here as number two. Also, this problem is in imperial unit and 10 feet. And they are also asking us to find this V naught in imperial units so for our gravity we're not going to use 9.8 meters per second but we're going to use 32.174 feet per second negative let's not forget the negative okay i'm gonna blow up this area just so we can see it better. This is V naught and this vector has components and this one will be our V X naught and this one will be our V Y naught. Okay, now let's work on our formula. We're gonna use this one the second one but in the y coordinate so y equals y naught equals equals plus v y naught times t plus one half a but our a will be g so i'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in times t square okay there you go. Now, our y naught is zero. So we can go ahead and get rid of that term. Now, how are we gonna calculate this one? We're gonna do a little trigonometry. Since here, we know that this is 50 degrees, we're gonna use this triangle to get some values. V x naught would be this one here and we can also write it as v naught cosine of 50 degrees v y naught we can also write as v naught times sine of 50 degrees and this is the one that we're going to use to plug in here okay i'm going to rewrite it y equals this term is gone right here we're gonna go ahead and plug this in v naught sine of 50 degrees times t plus one half g t square we are interested in v naught so let's solve for it v naught equals this term comes to the other side together with this and then we're gonna divide it by these i'm gonna go ahead and plug in right away so we don't waste too much space over here our the y will be right here 10 feet we're gonna add we have half of gt one half times 
g we said it's negative 32.174 feet per second and times time which is 3.24 seconds and on the square on the square nice fraction now on the bottom we're gonna have dividing by sine of 50 degrees times time which is same as over there 3.24 seconds all right now it's calculator time we're gonna plug it in into the calculator and we're gonna find a value of 71.23 feet per second there you go we found the answer for our first question for the second part they are asking us to calculate the horizontal distance between the goal post and the point where the ball was kicked from so we're gonna use our kinematic equations again we're gonna rely on the second one and we're gonna use it just like that as it is over here in the x dimension so x equals x naught plus v and this will be we're gonna use it in the x dimension so it's gonna be v x naught t and in the x direction we do not have an acceleration so right here our acceleration is zero therefore this term is gone so all we have left is this we can also notice that this term goes to zero and x equals v x naught t that's all we have left so x equals v of x naught let's see we had it over here and we had it written as v naught cosine 50 and then times the t there you go now we can plug these in v naught we found it it's right here 71.23 feet per second times cosine 50 degrees and times the time which we had given it's right here 3.24 seconds and now it's calculated time we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna find the value which is a hundred and fifty feet there you go this was part b and this was a little bit of football physics so make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you